present. Okay, I hope everyone's doing fine. So today we're going to learn about balance. It's not about balancing parts, but more it's about balance on the body. So I want you to really pay attention with your body, collect data, and then try to um, your body is your laboratory. So you are just a researcher, you collecting data and then you try to kind of balancing the right side, the left, the hips, the shoulders, and equal strength and flexibility between both sides. So that's what we're gonna focus on today about balance as well as finding the balance within your heart. The body is um, it's like the doorway so the physical body is like doorway, but actually it's going to go more toward the spiritual because the more you go deeper into the body, the more you go deeper within yourself, within your spiritual journey. So in that in mind, let's start with the practice by sitting down in Sukhasana, if it's available. Again, always under your body. Use the prop if you need it. Maybe you raise your bum up a little bit with the blanket. Rise your hips higher than your knee. And then you're just gonna fold it. Just easy, easy pose. The right, first the left forward. So just easy. And then from here, just roll the shoulders back a couple of times. And feel the shoulders back, your scapula down. And resting nicely. If this is too much, bring it wide, open, but really open the shoulders back. And then chin here, bring your inner fingers, index fingers forward, and then you just let it be here, touch your chin, and now you're gonna suck your chin a little bit in. So lift the index fingers. Create the lift on your sternum up. Feel your sweet sitting bone rooting down, and just breathe here. Maybe close your eyes for a moment. And now feel this pose on your sitting position. Notice where is your body in space? Do you have tendency to lean forward or you have tendency to lean back or maybe on the right or on the left? So feel it and then once you feel it, try to bring it back to the center where your shoulders is above your hips and then your neck, your head is above your shoulder. Breathe here, nice, easy breath. Relax your shoulders, relax your hips, relax your knees, relax everything and just breathe here. Another five nice breaths. Relax your tongue, don't clench it. Let it mouth open softly and the tongue a little bit down. And then maybe bring the hands into the heart and let the palm press in toward each other. So not just like holding that, but really press the palm toward each other. Index fingers pressing towards each other, the thumb towards each other, spread, spread your fingers wide, roll the shoulders back one more time and bring it down. And slowly from here, we chant the sound of Om three times, just to bring some awareness and concentration within the body and in the mind. Inhale. Oh. Inhale. Oh. Oh. Slowly open your eyes, bring the hands down. 
And now I'll be seeing the body again for a moment. And from here, I'm just gonna come in into cat and cow. So we're just gonna go straight toward cat and cow. Shoulders above your wrist, hips above the knee. Inner thigh is hip distance. Press it, press it, roll the shoulders back and lift here. Let the feet is tuck in. We've got a nice stretch on the toes. Inhale, again, tuck the tailbones back. And then move the chest forward. Lift as you lift your chest up. You're going to bring your elbow in and push it, push it. The ground is just inhale. Really arch the, up, the lower back here. How much can you arch without hunching your neck? And exhale, bring your chin toward your chest. You're going to round the upper back. You're still pushing with your hand, tuck the tailbone in. Rounding the upper back. Inhale. And exhale, chin the chest. Round the upper back. Inhale again, one more time. Exhale, chin the chest. And from here, as you exhale, I want you to start pick up your bum back and then pick up your knees slowly, coming straight up forward, downward facing dog. Press the ground away and then press your heels down if you can. If it's not, just get that movement. Your head telling you, I'm going to press my heels down. So there is lengthening on the back body here. And then press it with your hand. Press it with your hands, suck your belly toward the spine. And when you suck your belly toward your spine, you feel there is this space here on your lower back and slowly bring your chest toward your thigh. Create more length on the spine. Keep breathing. For five, for four, for three, for two, for one, strong hand, strong leg. Press your heels down, really press it down. As you slowly, you're gonna bring your hands toward your feet. Gently, mindfully, you need to bend your knee if you must, but if you can, keep it straight, keep it straight, keep it straight, and we're coming in this forward fold. Roll the shoulders back. Inhale, you halfway lift. Exhale, again. Suck your belly toward your spine. You create more space on the front body here. As you exhale, you're going to bring it down closer. Again, your chest toward your knee. Let the head hang. And really feel the stretch on the back body here. Just like when you're sitting down, I want you to start feeling where is your tendency here. You lean forward or you lean back. Let the head come down. Press, press so much with your feet. Press it again. Suck your belly toward the spine to create that small space there. And then go deeper. Maybe this is intense for you. Bend your knee. Listen to your body. Stay here for another few breaths. Really press it. Press it with the four corners of your feet. Imagine you're going to bring your inner ankle up, this energy is up. You press it down with all your feet and then you lift this energy from the sole of your feet all the way up to your hip. And slowly from here, one more exhale and inhale. And slowly as we inhale, we're gonna bring our body up like a leg doll, vertebra by vertebra. Again, let the movement lead. Suck your belly toward your spine. Let the hips lead the movement your belly. Your belly, suck your belly toward your spine. Gently inhaling, inhaling, inhaling. The head will be the last one as we roll your shoulders back. Stand for a moment, maybe close your eyes for a moment. Feel the earth slightly moving side to side, becoming into mountain pose. Feel your body again in space. Feel your leg, feel your hips rooting down. Feel your quad engaged, roll the shoulders back. And when you're ready, slowly 
all from your eyes. Again, notice again, where are you in this mountain pose? Do you have tendency to lean forward or you have tendency to lean back? Bring everything to the center. Imagine you're wearing a corset. So the transverse abdominal, you're gonna suck the corset in, create this, you make it your hips narrow, your waist narrow as you suck it in and then you press it down, the over shoulders back and you stand tall, mountain pose. Nice three breath here. Yeah? And slowly we're gonna walk on the long side of the neck. So here the leg is just hip distance. Slightly bend, slightly bend, and then we just go down, do a gentle twist here. Gentle twist. We're gonna twist to the right, twist to the left. So when you twist here, I want you to pay attention with both hands. So we're gonna give a nice gentle pat on our shoulder here, on our arms, but the left one, as we twist to the left, I want you to left hand just to have a tap here. This is your kidney. So we've got a nice gentle tap on our kidney. Give a little kidney massage. Bend the knee gently. Just let it move organically. No pressure, no forcing, just let it be. Again, when you bend the knee here, really feel the strength on your leg. Suck your belly throughout your spine. Do it a couple more times. Tap it, tap it gently. Kidneys resting on the back. And then slowly when you're ready, just let it loose the head, let it loose. Let it loose, let it loose, letting the leg, make the movement softly and stand again, standing in Tadasana. Stand again, standing in Tadasana. Take a moment here. And now we're gonna open the leg a little bit wide. So it's not really, really big, but it's just like, if you stay on the center, you move your right foot to the right, just one step and you move the left foot to the left one step. So just this small. And from here, we're gonna again, feel, feel, press with your ankle, press with your feet, but bring your inner ankle up. So bring this energy up, bring this energy up and lift your sternum up. Lift the sternum up, place the hands up. Inhale here. As we exhale, we're just gonna lean our chest forward this time. Move from the hips, hip creeps here. Lean chest forward here for a moment. Again, tendency, the shoulders is just gonna collapse here, going on top of our ears, slowly back. And from here, press it strong with your feet as you slowly create the space, suck your belly toward your spine, and then hinge from the hip crease as you bring the hands down. Wherever it is, don't run your back, don't run your back. Let the head loose. And slowly from here, stuck your belly up on your spine again and bring it down more. Maybe you can grab a block there, or maybe you just like to hang, maybe experience hanging here. Grab the opposite elbow, roll the shoulders back, start to let down, and then slowly from here again, bring your head a little bit lower. Right, suck your belly towards your spine, create more space, hinge from the hips, and bring it down more. And here for a moment. If this is bothering your vision, close your eyes. Again, noticing where you are in space. Are you leaning forward? Are you leaning back? Do you press enough on both sides? This is sometimes creating one hip is higher than the other because you don't press it equally with your legs. So really feel your inner thigh toward each other. Press it strong with your leg, but bring your ankle up. Bring your kneecap up. So feel the engagement on the back side of your leg. Keep breathing here. And slowly from here, you're gonna walk your hand toward the left. So we have tendency when we walk our hand toward the left, the right hip is gonna go toward the right. So I want you to bring the inner part of the right hip, push it more, make it steady, don't let it move. Don't let it move, don't let it move. And bring your hand, your forward, your body into the left and just lean left. If you can, you can kiss your left knee, but if it's not, just wherever you are, 
try to bring your body toward the light. You don't change the feet direction here. You just try to bring your body toward the light without moving the right hip. So right hips stay where they are. Keep breathing. For five, for four, press it with the right foot. For three, for two, for one. Bring the hands to the center. Halfway lift for a moment. And from here again, pay attention with your left hips. Plant it, plant it, keep it strong on the feet as you walk your hand into the right foot, into the right foot. Take a moment, bring your shoulders back again. Halfway lift, create the space on your belly as you start bringing your body toward the right. Again, stabilize the left hips. Don't let the left hips go forward. Stay here for another five breaths. You notice the difference between the right and the left right away. Where is the sensation? Is it on the back of your leg? Is it on the front? Is it on the side? Is it on the foot that you left in the other side? So keep collecting this data for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Slowly walk the hands again to the center. Halfway lift for a moment. Bring hands into the hips. As we inhale, suck the belly toward the spine. And again, bring your kneecap high. Press it with your feet as you're coming up. Breathe for a moment. And then we're going to jump. Bring the foot towards each other. Dasana. Take a moment here. And now we're going to clap the hand. Just clasp it. Don't force the thumb to clasp. Just let it be. Thumb is open. We're going to shift it to the other way. And now we're going to bring it up. Bring it up. So I don't want the shoulders to go up. It's just the hand pushing up where the shoulders stay where they are. And from here, really pick up your body, your sternum up. Lift it, lift it, lift it. And from here, try to bring your heels up with you. Engage your core. This is not easy. Try to engage your core. Stay here. Keep lifting. For five, for four, for three, for two, for one. And for me, if you want more challenge, try to find some space to look. Suck your belly. Connect your inner thighs. Still pick up your heels. Maybe try to close your eyes. Oh, we're going to fall. <laughs> so just try to bring awareness into the body, let the vision go and just connect to the body and lift and close your eyes. Maybe not too high with the heels, but really connect to the body and try to be stable here. Close your eyes, close your eyes. For five, for four, for three, for two, for one, and bring it down. Roll the shoulders back. Now we're just gonna stay here again one more time. Now we're gonna bring the right hands up. Reach so much. Feel the lantern on the right side. Feel it. And you cannot reach anymore. You're going to reach with the left. Reach so much again. Now we start peeking again. You cannot reach anymore. Reach again with the right. Reach again with the left. And now we're just going to, again, on the heels, pick up your heels. Reach with both hands equally now. For five. Suck your belly down at your spine. For three. For two. For one, slowly bring it down. Open the chest for a moment, cactus arm. Maybe slightly gentle back bend, just gentle. Pick up your chest, pick up your chest, pick up your chest, pick up your chest, and maybe start moving your hips forward. Don't throw your head back, just move forward. Your hips, pick up the chest, more hips, pick up the chest, more hips, pick up the chest. For five, for four, for three, for two. For one, slowly bring it up. Hands by your side. Roll the shoulders back. Now we're going to move the right foot slightly up. Left foot slightly up. So we are a little bit far uh, away from the hip distance, or maybe just right, yeah, just slightly far of hip distance. We're going to go forward, fall again. Really press your feet here. Pick up the whole toes. When you pick up your whole toes, you feel your quad, you feel the lift on your kneecap, and now you press it down. And from here, pick up the sternum, without arching your back, just sternum up, inch from the hip crease, hand on the hip crease, and slowly you just lean forward. 
Tuck your belly toward your spine and slowly go down again. So when you go down, you really feel the releasing on your lower back here. Suddenly your lower back has this big space expansion on the back body here. On the lower back body, your head's coming down. And now I want you to bring the hands behind you, clap it again like earlier, but this time the other thumbs on the top. And from here, lift it back again. The, Lift it back slowly, open, open your shoulders. Your shoulders are gonna go forward. We don't want the shoulders, we want the shoulders to be up. And now if you can, suck your belly down your spine, try to bring your hands overhead, above your head and pass over. And again, suck your belly down your spine, let it sink, let it sink. And then now you just let the hands go down. Pass over if you can, if you're not, stay wherever you are. Keep breathing here for five. For four, for three, for two, for one. Let the hands lift the movement, suck the belly down at the spine. Imagine I'm standing behind you and I'm gonna pull your arms back so it's gonna lift your body up. Slowly as you inhale, rise up. Let the hands go, draw the shoulders back. Draw the shoulders back. All the shoulders back again. Tadasana. Hmm. Feet together. You do you two the feet together. Again, mountain pose. Hmm. Now we're gonna bring the hands to the side. We're gonna jump to the side. So bring your feet right under your wrist this time. We're gonna be a little bit wider, feet under the wrist. So bring the hands out. Imagine somebody's just like pulling your hands away. So really reaching out, reaching out. Pay attention with your leg. You like it stay. Again, press it, kneecap. That is that lift. That is that lift on the kneecap. Like we pick up our toes, yeah? That is a lift on the kneecap. You reach out. And from here, we're just gonna bring your hands forward as we slowly suck your belly down. You hinge again from the hip crease. And we're here. Take a moment for a moment. And then as you exhale, we're just gonna go down, 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 down. Maybe your four, maybe your forearm is coming down. Wherever you are, stay here. So the hip is not really all the way back right now. I want to shift your hip slightly right above parallel with your ankle. And now bring the hand slightly closer. As you inhale, clap the lift, suck your breath out your spine, exhale, bring it down. Wherever you are, stay there in your forward fold. Feel, create, feel the lift on your kneecap, feel the lift on your body for five, for four. Strong like the leg, strong, don't let it bend, but don't lock the knee. For three, for two, for one. Slowly from here, you're going to do halfway lift. Halfway lift slowly. And from here, I want you to pay attention with your right foot. I want you to pivot your right foot to the front of the mat. Pivot. And then from here, the left foot slightly in. Just slightly in. Slightly in. And walk your hands toward the right side. Get a block if you want. If it's not, just stay there. But if you have a block, maybe it's better you have a block. If your hand cannot touch the floor, get the block. You're coming like in this wide, wide leg. Triangle pose. So from here, I want you to press your hands into the block. Press the hands into your block. Press with your back foot. And now, left hands on the hips. Left hands on the hips, slowly from here. Press it with your lift. Press it with the back foot and you create the lift on the front kneecap. Bring this energy from the sole of your feet up as you slowly move your chest to the side. We're coming in Trikonasana in the different way. So, bam! Open the chest up. Feel the lift on the right side. Neck long. This is a good post of Trikonasana because your neck is fairly away from your shoulder. Get us up. If this is feel good for you, bring the hands up. 
this is maybe the side is a little bit wider, but this is so good for Trikonasana. Press it with the back foot. For five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Slowly. Look between. Look toward your foot. Let the block go. And from here, slowly, we're just going to walk our hands to the center. And pivot the right foot. Go forward again. Left foot forward again. And then from here, slowly, we're going to go back again to forward fold. So feel it. Feel, feel your leg going strong. As you inhale, hinge forward from the hip crease. So I want you to hinge forward, hinge forward, hinge forward, hinge forward. Maybe without the hand, maybe without the hand, maybe with the hand. Finally, maybe your head touching the ground. Maybe if you touch the ground, bring your hands into your ankle and you press your feet toward your hand. So it's waking up your kneecap. Maintaining the arch on the bar on the feet. Press it. Keep breathing. Stop your belly toward your spine. Maybe shift the weight a little bit forward. For five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Slowly bring the hands into the mat. Halfway lift again. Take a moment. And from here again, you're gonna bring pivot your left foot forward, 90 degree forward. And now just from here, walk your hands, walk your hands, walk your hand to the left, walk your hand to the left. Okay, it's forward. And now your back foot here, slightly press it so much in the back foot as you move your body forward and grab a block again. Put it on the other side of your left foot. Right hands into the hips. Suck your belly toward your spine. Pick up the front toes maybe. So you press it with your, with your, with your four corners, creating more stability on the quad. And slowly you wake up. Pick up the chest. Pick up this chest here. Facing to the side. Hips, hands on the hips. Pick up with your shoulders up. And from here, Suck your belly down and press it. This is when I'm not pressing, I'm falling down. This is when I'm pressing with my right foot. That is this lift. And from here, I'm pressing with your left foot and I'm creating this lift on my body. And then I reach up and I'll go toward the right side. Keep breathing here. Press it equally for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Slowly, I'm going to go toward my left foot. I'm going to go down with my right hand. With my left hand, I'm going to pivot my left foot forward again into back side and the long side of the, of the mat. I walk again to the center. Take a moment here, halfway lift. Halfway lift for a moment. And again, exhale, hinge from the hips, hinge from the hips, hinge from the hips, hinge from the hips, hinge from the hips. Stay here. Wherever you are, you can grab your block, you can grab your ankle, you can just hold here for a moment. And again, if you feel your back, if you feel your bum is all the way behind you, try to bring your bum forward parallel with your ankle. For five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Slowly, halfway lift. Halfway lift, walk your hands. And from here, just bring the hands on the hip. And imagine I'm standing behind you. I'm going to start pulling your elbow gently. Or maybe I'm going to start holding your lower back and slowly lifting it up. You can help. Take a moment. And now we're just going to heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Walk your toe. Oh, that's a lot on the leg. So now we're just going to go forward on the long side of the mat. Make the hips distant, the leg. Inhale up. Exhale again, hinge from the hips as we go forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale. Walk the feet back. Walk the, earlier, we come into downward dog. We're going to walk our head. Now we're going to walk our feet. Walk our feet. Walk our feet. And slowly press with the hand, press it, press it, press it. Stack the belly down with the spine. Pick up the heels, bring the heels down, and bring the chest toward your thigh, downward facing dog. 
feel the difference now. Now we're focusing on the hand. Press it with 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 the hand. Inhale, exhale for a nice five breath. Gathers again. If your mind goes somewhere, bring it back. Bring it back to this moment, to this pose, to this breath. For five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Slowly, just gonna go down on our knee. Bring the big toes together. We're gonna coming down into a child pose. Send the palms back. And just push it with your hands, lengthen the spine, and go down and relax. So notice how you feel between your legs over here. And over here, we're just going to let it go and rest in. And slowly, we'll keep in our hand. We're gonna go up again. Press the ground. Tuck the back foot. Roll the shoulders back. We're coming back again into a downward dog. Walk the dog. Walk the dog. Bend the right foot. So when you bend the right foot, really try to bring the left heels down and try to bring your chest toward the right thigh. So really feel the lengthening and the stretch on the left side here. And then when you land, you bend the left, same thing. Press the right foot down. Press with your hands down to bring the chest more. Press the weight one more time, each side. And now bring the left down. So we are here. So now we're going to do a different way. We're just going to pick up both heels. And now we're going to swift it to the right as we gaze toward the left armpit. So you really feel the lengthening on the left and the shortening on the right. But press equally with both hands. So don't collapse on the right hand. Press equally with the both hands. And slowly pick up the feet again. Pick up the heel. Swift it to the left. Press it with both hands. Gaze toward the right. One more time. Pick up the heel, swift it to the right. Notice how you feel here. Notice how you feel on the right side of your body, on the left side, on the armpit here. Press equally. Go one more time to the left. Press it again. Slowly go back into downward facing dog. Gaze toward your hand. Slowly pick up your feet now. Go pick up your feet. Power your hand. Pick it up. We go forward now. And then we go back now. We go forward. And really feel again from the hip crease. Big space on your in front of body here. Big, big space. Roll the shoulders back. And then really feel the stretch on the leg here as you slowly exhale. Let it go. And just forward fold. Again, if your bum is all the way on the back and feel heavy, Try to slightly shift your weight a little bit forward so you get more space on the front and the head is coming down. Keep breathing. Last breath here. And roll the shoulders back and we're just going to suck your belly down our spine slowly coming up into a rag doll. Slowly, 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 slowly. Slowly, slowly, slowly roll the shoulders back. So we are again in the mountain pose. Really feel the pose again, feel the leg now. More opening on the chest. And now we're gonna face in the low side of the mat again one more time. Now we're gonna bring the leg slightly wider. So the distance is the size of your leg. Yeah. Yeah, just not super wide, but not super close toward each other. Just feel what feels right for you. And from here, we're gonna bring the right foot 
forward. Again, grab your block ready if you if you have I mean, if you feel like it, and now bring your heel slightly in. So this time, if you notice the alignment, it's almost like warrior one. Your hip is going to go forward. So from here, I want you to pay attention again. Just the same, press it down. The inner the, the inner ankle is lifting in. Your chest is lifting, but not arching. Just natural. Just there is this lengthening. And from here, inhale. You're going to bring your right hand. Right hands on the oh, right hands on the hip. Left hands reach up. Reach up. And from here, we're going to bring this right left hand into the outer side of your right, right foot. So as you inhale. As you exhale, you square your hips forward. This left hip is gonna going forward, which is correct. The right hip is gonna go back. And slowly from here, you're gonna bring the left hands all the way down next to your pinky, pinky to pinky. See if you can put it. If you cannot, get a block. Again, really feel the lengthening. So don't crunch your neck. Push your neck with your hand. The more you push with your hand, the more twists you got and slowly, this hand is gonna go up, elbow is gonna go up. Press with your back foot, press with your front foot. If this is feel good, bring the hands up and gaze up. Keep breathing here. Four, five, four, 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 three, four, two, four, one. Slowly gaze between forward your hands and your feet. Right hands going in. Walk again, pivot the right foot forward now. We're coming again into Wide leg forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Releasing the lower back again one more time. Hand and hands into the hips. Inhale, pick it up from the belly up. Exhale, bring it down. Roll the shoulders back. Now we're going to do pivot the left foot. 90 degrees, right foot slightly in. This warrior one position leg. Hips forward, forward. Press, press, press. Press with your inner ankle. Press with the outer foot. This right leg, back hips going forward, left hips going in. Keep breathing. Don't, we have tendency to do it forward here. No, just bring it here, back to the center. Back to the center as you reach up with your right hand, reach, 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 lengthening the right body. And slowly from here, you're gonna pick up the, left, the front hips here, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back, right hands forward, forward, reach and bring the hand down. Again, press it, press it with the hands, create more lift. This bum on the left, gonna go to neutral, back hips forward. Strong leg and pick up the hand with your foot. You gaze toward your hand. You should be able to see the backside of your hands up here. Keep breathing. Four, five, four, 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 three, four, two, four, one. Slowly look forward your feet. Hands into the feet. Pivot the right foot forward again into the center. Walk the hands forward. Right foot into the center. Roll the shoulders back, gaze forward. This time we're gonna roll the hands back and then collapse it again, but relax, collapse on the back, roll the shoulders back and slowly hinge from the hips, slowly. As you exhale, you go down, let the hands go wherever they wanna go, maybe over, maybe not. Suck your belly, let the hands go. Don't crunch it, don't try to push your hands out. Hands just tangling and relax over there. Your scapula is going toward each other right now. Just let it be. Gaze now at the tip of your nose if it's okay. If it's not, just close your eyes or just look straight. For five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Let the hands go. Let the hands go. Bring the hands down. And now from here, we're gonna Pointing the leg out, pointing the leg out slowly. We're gonna lean toward the right side, bend the right foot, lean toward the right side. We're coming into seating parigasana almost. If this is not available for you, go wherever you are on the high side. And from here, if you can, slowly come down. Right hands up. Hang and open with the left inhale. And if this is feel good, 
try to bring the chest more forward the back open it open it press press the hands up bring it open shoulders is not crunching open it wide bring it down for five for four for three for two for one inhale back to the center hands into the heart take a moment and then from here bring the hands into the mat foot is back down we gaze toward the left now we're going to move toward the left and then we sit you down so foot flex it please to protect your knee there is this uh, ankle that's going to go up here go in your femur go back to the hip socket here and then hands open press with your leg open 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 it up my right side here is tight i couldn't open as much as i do on my left keep opening as much as you can don't let the foot rolling for five for four for three for two for one slowly bring it up hands into the heart take a moment bring the hands down again and then pivot the feet facing to the center again halfway lift inhale forward for again one more time And slowly bring the hands into the hip. Inhale, pick it up, suck your belly in. Back to the standing position. And now we're just gonna heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. Ooh, that was a lot. You feel it a lot on your body here. We do the twist, the twist, you're noticing the difference between right and the left, your external obliques, in your body, in your leg. Sometimes we didn't notice it, how different the right and the left leg. And from here, we're just going to go straight to a three pose, one balancing pose. We start it on the right. So really feel with your left here. Press it. So imagine you are here together. And then we're going to move forward with your right foot. And then pick up the right foot, but don't let it down. So you're still here on the, on the, on the walking position. Hug it in, hug it in, hug it in. Grab the right foot. Hug it in, hug it in, hug it in. Grab the internal ankle here if you can. And from here, if you can bring the sole of the feet to the center. If this is hard, if you cannot lift it here, there is no way you can put it into the groin. So you, were, you might be here. If this is where you are, put it above the ankle. And just stay here. But pay attention. We don't want to lean. This is what I don't want you to do because this is your relax. This is all supposed to be engaged. Your glutes is on. Your shoulders is above your hips. But don't lean. Bring it down. Stay here. If you can bring it up, grow in, in the sole of the feet pressing towards each other, hug in. Knees here, make sure this is square. So try to bring the knee to the side. Hips, if you put your hands here, should be the same, should be the same, facing forward. See, it's the same. This is where you want to be. And then hands up. Keep breathing. Look up if you want more challenge. For five, four, 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 four three, four, two, four, one. Slowly look back to the center. Hands into the heart. Take a moment. Again, where are we coming down? We cut the toes slowly. Hug it in for a second for one moment. And then you're gonna step back. Left foot forward, back, forward, sorry, not back, not forward, back, but hands to your side, back to the desk. Take a moment, breathe, right foot forward, like you want to walk it, pick up the right foot, walk it forward, step it down, pick up the left foot, bring it up, hug everything in again, press it down with your feet, plant it, plant it, plant it with your feet, hug it in, feel your body in space, feel the connection on your glutes, on your core. Piraformis and slowly grab the inner thigh, the inner ankle, and press it in the groin. This is hips going up. We want to bring the hips in, in, in. This is up. Bring it back, back. Hips slightly going back. Bring it forward. Need to be square. If you put your you're creating a baguette here, the baguette. 
your head is the same. And then you go up. Yes, up if you can. Don't crunch your neck on it. Be three, be like a three. Tall, strong, embracing anything that comes to your way. And just be humble. Be strong, be tall. Keep breathing for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Slowly gaze back to the center, hands into the heart. And from here, pick up the feet, bring it forward again one more time. And then step it back. And then right foot follow. And hands together. Hmm, how do you feel? Do you feel the same? Do you feel you get that balance that you need between the right on the left and the inner side of your body? Or there is certain pose that make you more agitated or make you more anxious. Oh, I don't like my right side because it's the weak side, of course. But embrace that and then gain more strength. It's a journey. So really get to know your body and embrace it and let the body open. Send the breath, let the body open into the pose. When it's time, it's time. Never force anything. Take a moment here one more time again. Now we're gonna face in the back side of the mat on the front. We're gonna do inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half the lift, exhale, press the hands down. So I want you to experiment this side. Once if you can press your hands down here, try to bring the hands exactly parallel with your feet. Try to bring the hands behind right behind your toes, slightly in the center. Try to, if this is too much to be straight because your palm is lifting, I want your palm to be pressing, suck your belly in, roll the shoulders back. If this is too much, try to bend, try to bend, but try to bring the hands with your feet. Try to bring the hand with your feet, bend your leg, bend your leg, right foot back, left foot back. You're coming into this kind of weak plank, and from here, I want you to just bring Bring, bring, bring your shoulders above your wrist and press with your heels down. Shoulders above your wrist, the heels down, but not pressing down, just like slightly direction is down. Suck your belly in, roll the shoulders back. Stay here for 10, keep breathing. For nine, for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, slowly we're gonna suck your belly down with your spine, send the palms back. We're coming into downward facing dog. Breathe here. And from here, we wanna walk the I want you to walk your feet slightly back, slightly wide, like as wide of your mat, wide of your mat, and Toes out, toes out, and just shift your body weight side to side. And from here, walk your hand, walk your hand back, walk it, and try to keep your feet straight. I want you just to walk your hands, walk your hands, walk your hands, and slowly press, press it with your hands down, roll the shoulders back again. This is too much, bend your knee, but try to keep it straight if you can. And slowly, hands keep straight, hand keep straight, just bend your leg, hands keep straight, bend your leg. Bend your leg as much as you can until you cannot do any more, and then pick it up and swing side to side. I'm going forward because I almost hit the wall. Just swing side to side. Malasana, garland pose. Hands bring it into the center of the heart. Air press toward the knee, the knee press it toward the elbow. Look straight and keep breathing here. Suck the belly toward the spine, long spine. Keep breathing. And slowly mm -hmm. from here, I want you to try to try to sit down. Hands forward, try to sit down. Boom. For a moment. If this is too much, you can move slightly your foot forward, press it, suck your belly in, and then pick it up. And then bring it down. Boom. And pick it up. Three more times. Down. Pick it up. Last one. Down. Pick it up. 
roll the shoulders back, pick it up, hug it in, hug it in, hug it in, hug it in, bring the hands down again. And this time we're going to bring the hands behind our body, we're going to sit our bum, right foot forward, right foot forward, Dandasana, staff pose. So suck the belly in, shoulders up, imagine again, there is this inner ankle here, your ankle creating this energy, lifting energy all the way up, that push into a femur bone, hook, and your hip socket. Hands by your side, just pressing like that. But pick up your chest, I don't want you to just lean in here, press it, hands to be straight, hands to be straight, when you straight your pain, you create this lift on your body, but not up here, press it, pick up your chest without arching, this is when I'm arching too much, you see my back here, no I don't want that, I want to be but pressing, suck your toes, heels pressing down, heels pressing down, top, Toast out your body. This is not easy pose. Just hold it here for five. No, actually for ten. For nine. For eight. Seven. Smile. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Slowly let it go. Heel toe, heel toe, your feet. Tap, tap, big toes together. And now we're coming to Janu Sirsasana. So grab the, the, the leg and bring it to the right. Bring it to the right. The ankle, the heels of your right foot goes pressing your groin if you can. If this is too much, raise your bum up, please. Raise your bum up. If this is like doesn't open so much, it's right here. Elevate it with the block. So you got this nice thing. And from here, inhale, hands up. Exhale, we're gonna hinge from the hips here, hinge from the hips, slightly forward, just stay here. So these hips here, the one that is long, which is my left, I'm gonna try to press it back. I'm gonna try to press it back. It's not going forward. It keep pressing down, my sitting bone looking down. And I just lean forward here, lean forward. And I look whatever I can, I grab whatever I can. If you can, if your hand can pass your feet, grab your wrist, grab your wrist. And from here, gaze toward your feet, roll the shoulders back, suck your belly toward your spine, inhale. Exhale, you bring your chest toward your spine. Press, press your feet toward your hand, toward your wrist, or whatever you grab. And just keep pressing with the heels, bring the femur back to our hip socket as we press in. For five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Slowly inhale, pick up your body, gaze toward your feet again one more time. Exhale, suck your belly. Inhale, rise up slowly. And from here, we're just gonna bend this knee up. Pick up the knee, make it straight. Tag it in for a moment. And then bring the right hands back. Roll the shoulders back, open, inhale. Left hands up, exhale. If you can, try to bring your armpit toward your knee. If it's not, just hug it in here. But maintain your long spine. If you can, you pick up your bum, if you can here, and then your shoulders here is like stuck, open it up. Open it up and then gaze toward the right shoulders. If the inhale, you create the lift, if the exhale, you create the turn. Stay here, press it again with your hand for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Inhale back to the center, exhale, let it go. And just for a moment, hug it in and gaze toward the left. Nice gentle twist here. Back to the center. Now we do the other side. Right foot forward. Let's do Dandasana again. Just press the hands facing up, roll the shoulders. Then pick up body. Pick it up, chin down your chest. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Now we're gonna pick up the left. So hug the left, bring it in. And bring it down again. The heels on your groin here. Take a moment. 
press, press, press with your leg. Inhale, exhale, coming down. Just hanging here for a moment. We like the shoulder hang. Whatever you grab, if you can here, just stay here. Whatever your, if your hand can pass your toes, grab the opposite wrist. It's area. I grab my right to the left, wrong to the left, my left into the right. Roll the shoulders back. Inhale. Press this toes is pressing out, and I'm gonna bring my inner thighs in. Inhale, exhale. Bring the chest toward your knee. Keep breathing here. Four, five, four, 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 three, four, two, four, one. Slowly inhale, look toward your feet. Exhale, suck your belly in. Inhale, up. Roll the shoulders for a moment. And now you're going to bring your knees toward the center. How do you move for a moment? Hmm. Inhale, reach up with the right hand. Exhale, try to bring this outer side of your body hooking in into the right knee. So the right shoulders go into the right knee and suck. I'm running my back now, yeah? so I'm going to press with my hand. I'm going to lift my spine up. I'm going to press my hands against my leg. My leg pressing inward. In, in, because we've got more rotation here on the on your body, start to bring your body to the side. So you've got more, more twists, really cleansing the organ here, your internal organ, detoxing, like a sponge, we're squeezing, squeezing right now. Shoulders back and get our left. Four, five, four, 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 three, four, two, four, one. Slowly inhale back to the center. Right hands down, left hands. Half the left knee, roll the shoulders back, and just slowly, nice gentle twist here for a moment. Open it, and then inhale back to the center. Left foot forward, hands by your side. Again, dandasana, dandasana, staff pose. Hold it, roll the shoulders back, pick up the body, tailbones down. Lift the chest up, suck the belly down the spine. For five, for four. Four, three, four, two, four, one. Slowly back to the center. Now we're going to bend the leg, bend the knee. We're going to shift our bum slightly closer forward. And now we're going to go lay down on our back. Bring the forearms down. Bring the forearms down. Send the bums more forward. And then we just lay down. So this time we're gonna do the climbing butterfly pose, but the konasana, but in a different way. So from here, we're gonna bring the leg. Grab the ankle if you can. Bring your leg closer. So the leg, the hand is out. I want you to bring the hands in. Grab the ankle. Pick up your bum. Grab the ankle if you can. Just the inner ankle. And from here, we're gonna roll the shoulders down. Roll the shoulders down, put the feet together, and now you're grabbing your ankle here. Grab your ankle, grab your ankle, grab your ankle, and open it. Open it. The sole of the feet will be together. So we're coming into this butterfly pose in a different way. This is more stretch and more opening on the body. Open it up. Chest up. Chest up. Chest up. Shouldn't be any pain on your lower back, okay? Should be, shouldn't be any pain at all. Should be, you feel like the stretch on your groin, on your inner thigh. Keep breathing on your hips. Keep breathing here. If this is pose is hurting your knee, please, by all means, just go back up and then just do your regular one. And roll the shoulders. You want to go deeper, roll the shoulders, roll the shoulders. Open it more so your bum slightly resting on your hands actually. Keep breathing, but let the let the glutes down, let the splash down. Don't lift your flesh, let the flesh resting. It's restorative, but it's an active pose. Keep breathing. Four, five. Feel it. Four, four. 
for three, for two, for one, another one, another five breaths. Slowly when you're done, you're gonna bring the knees toward each other, let the hands go, let the hands go. And then from here, you're just gonna hug one knees in. Straightening. So when you're straightening the right leg, I want you to pick up your toes and press it with your heel. Pick up your toes, press it with your heels. Press it, press it, press it, press it, press it. Press it all the way. So there is this stretching happening. And then press your heels down. Suck it more. Suck it more. Suck it more. And this is the ankle, that, uh, the angle that you want to maintain. As much as you push your knee toward your chest, that is the ankle that we're going to go to the right. Bring it to the right. Maintain the ankle. And then this one, my back body is lifting right now. Now I'm going to bring my shoulder and my scapula down to the left. If it's not down, I couldn't because of my knee. I'm going to pick up my knee and I'm going to bring my body down. It's not, it's about the twist. It's not bringing your knee forward. It's about your twist going to the left. Again, we're doing a twist right now. Deep breathing. Your right foot automatically going to leaning toward the right, which is totally normal. We don't want to keep it forward. We don't want to keep it to the ceiling. We want to let it, let it roll over. Keep breathing. Slack your belly toward your spine. Now we roll over back to the center and hug it in one more time. And after this, we're going to go to half happy baby. So you're going to bring your hand, left hand, into the inner part of the inner thigh and as the inner feet. And open it toward your arm to stay here. Press the right foot with your heel. Press it. All everybody is facing the ceiling here. Just look toward the ceiling, pick a spot. And bring it more. If you can push your hands more toward your sole of your feet to go deeper past your armpit, you're going to feel really, really good stretch there. on your inner thigh and slowly let it go. Hug it in one more time. And now we're gonna pick up the right foot, bring the right foot in. Hug it in one more time, power the chest. And this time we're gonna pick up our forehead, our chest, ease your knee. Roll yourself into a ball, flex your toes, roll it. Roll it, stretch everything, contract everything, hug everything more for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Slowly roll the shoulders back. Come down. Hug, hug the right knee toward your chest. Bring the left foot down. And here again, we're going to roll it. Pick up the left toes. And we're going to push our heels down to make the left foot straight. So really feel the fraction here. Don't push it so much. Don't push it fast. Just really enjoy this pushing, 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 pushing down. You're straightening. Hug it more. Hug, hug, hug your knee toward your chest. Maintain this angle. Press it with your ankle. You're going to sweep your leg into the left. And now right shoulders, bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. Shoulders straight down. Hands maybe cup the sun. Relax the left foot. Keep breathing here. We're twisting. Slowly bring your heads, look up to the ceiling, suck your belly toward your spine as we bring our leg back to the center. Hug it in again one more time. And from here, we're going to go to happy baby. Right hands go to the inner thigh, grab the inner feet and bring your right knee toward your right armpit, open it to the side. Press the hands, press the leg, pressing toward each other. 
press the heels down here, left heels down. You're gonna feel a deep, deep stretch here for some. Maybe this is like so relaxing and beautiful for some. Maybe this is a little bit uncomfortable. Just keep breathing for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Bring it back to the center again, one of the hands go. Hug in toward your chest, pick up the right foot. Hug in both, knee to loose. Up and up and up, one more time. And this time maybe you're gonna point in your toes and hug yourself into a small ball. Contract everything, contract everything again. Contract everything for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Slowly bring the heads down. And then we're just gonna make a nice gentle circle. Hands into the knee. Let the knee move toward opposite direction. And then the other way around. And maybe you're gonna cross it, and then we're just gonna roll a couple of times. Nice gentle massage on the lower back. And now slowly, slowly bring the foot down. We're gonna pick up our chest, use your elbow, roll the shoulders back, and then we're just gonna go up in sitting position to set up our stuff into Savasana. So if you have a bolster, set the bolster long. And your block is gonna be for your feet. So get a nice space, bring the block together. Get a blanket if you have any, put it on the top to make it nice for your feet. So from here, actually the block should be together horizontal. So it's big enough for our feet, for our leg to rest. Blanket on the top if you want more cushion. So I want you to sit like in butterfly pose. And now just kind of like roll your body back. But we want the whole body here, all the way, all the way past it. And then your shoulders is coming down. Your shoulders is coming down. So the board start is just pass, pass right on your shoulders, like on the, just right above, right below the armpit. So my shoulders, actually, my neck is down. The shoulder slightly down. And I'm going to put my leg up. So we're coming in this uh, supported show, uh, like almost shoulder stand, but it's not the shoulders and it's very relaxing. And from here, we're just going to squeeze it maybe here a little bit and let the head down. So you're resting on the, on, the, on the whole head here, not just on the back, but you're resting on the whole head. And chin slightly in, open it up. Feet, feet is up, roll the shoulders, hands maybe cactus, and just close your eyes. Let everything go. I'm just gonna stay in this pose for nice a minute. So really feel, feel, feel your body's opening, feel your body opening. Your shoulder, this is a really relaxing supported shoulder stand sort of. You can bring the leg, the toes facing up for a nice uh, non-restorative pose for more like engaging pose. Press the heels down, press your legs all the way down, toes facing up. Your, you don't have any lift on your lower belly here. Your butt is resting nicely. Your lower back is resting nicely. You just the legs, the legs. You don't want to close your eyes, just gaze toward the ceiling and just really let your body open and feel it.
slowly from here, you're just gonna bend your feet, bring the feet down from the from your block, bring your feet down, and then you're just gonna shift our bum slightly to the left. Shift the bum slightly to the left, and then you're just coming down, roll over into the right, gently, gently, lift the hand, gently, 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 gently. Now we're gonna bring the uh, the bolster away, bring the block away, and now the blanket that you have, if you have any, you can put it for your head, you can put it for your belly, do what feels right. And now we're just gonna go back again, sitting down. And then we're just gonna bring the blanket, if you feel the head, just on the lower side, just roll over. Roll over. Go over down, just feel it again. Move your sitting bone side to side, move your hip side to side. Maybe move your neck side to side. And slowly, gently, we're gonna bring the right foot back, down. And we're gonna bring the right foot back, down. And then we're gonna bring the heels down, press it, and then we're gonna open the leg out. Open the leg out, and then we're gonna roll the shoulders back. Bring the hands, bring the hands. If this is too much, just bring the hands tightly by your body. Again, you feel your roll, slowly on your shoulders. And then from here, you just let go. Press, feel your belly deflating and rising. Feel your lower back resting nicely on the neck. Long, soft inhalation. Long, soft exhalation. Feel your tongue relax. So if your tongue is clenching on the top of your teeth like that, let it go. By letting go your tongue, you're relaxing your jaw. When you're relaxing your jaw, you're relaxing your face. Your eyebrow follow, relax and soften. Your ears. Bring attention on your neck, on the back of your skull. Feel it descending and relax. Bring attention on your shoulders, let it lower down and resting, softening. Feel your belly, feel your hips, let it be sinking into the mat, resting, softening, and your thigh is relaxed. Your knee is relaxed, your calf is descending and relaxed. Your heels, your feet, your toes, everything is softening, soften and relax. Your arm, let it go. Imagine that your arm doesn't have any bone and it's just hanging there and relax. Your fingers, just relax. So soft, long inhalation. So soft, long exhalation. Quiet the mind, quiet the body. We just be here in the moment. Feel it, embrace it, listen to it in the quietness and the stillness of Sabasana.
strongly. Mindfully bring awareness back to the body. Return the breath to the body. Feel your hips now. Feel your hands. Feel your shoulders. Feel your legs. Slowly bring the hands overhead. And then just grab the right wrist with your left hand and you can pick it up. Grab the left wrist with the right hand and pick it up. And from here, just push your hands all the way up and then stretching your leg all the way down. Imagine two people pulling us back and forth, like from the top and from the bottom. So we really got this really big, big, nice stretch here on the whole body. And then let it go. And bring the hands down in cactus arm for a moment. And slowly move the next side to the side. Move the next side to the side. And from here, you're going to bend the left foot. Bend the right foot. And then just going to bring the other feet as wide as your mat. And then just maybe you're going to bring your right knee down toward the left. Left knee down toward the right. Just a nice soft windshield wipers here for a moment. And from here, bring the legs together, knees together, and slowly we're gonna pick up our bum, shift the bum into the left, and slowly we're gonna lean into the right and we're coming in our right side. Take a moment here, maybe hands resting on top of the body while the right hand is cradling our head. Nice, gentle, deep breath. Maybe soft gaze on the eyes if you want. Or you just keep it close if you prefer like that. And slowly bring the hands down, palm, hands down, left palms down. As we slowly, we're gonna bring the left foot down into the mat. And slowly we're gonna pick up our body, pushing up with the left hands, with the left foot, right hands down. Get up the body and then we're gonna sit in nice gentle supasana. Noticing the body, is it more open now? Noticing your shoulders, noticing your mind, noticing your breath. Close your eyes for a moment. Reflect again what kind of data that you take that you learn from the practice today. We don't need to do anything about it, just be aware of it until the next practice. Yoga practice is a cultivating the mind, cultivating the strength the flexibility as well as the inner peace is a process. The more we practice, the better we become, as simple as that. But be mindful, be kind. Give some love and compassion towards ourselves so we can extend that love, kindness and compassion towards others. Bring the hands into the heart. We close this practice as we start it with the chanting Om Tritam, the sun of the divine, the sun of the universe, the sun of the inner peace, inner love in every single person on earth. We just need to look within our eyes, our soul, inside our body and our mind. Inhale. Oh. Inhale. Oh. Inhale. Oh. Hands to the third eye point of wisdom, may we see clearly, may we hear fully for what it is, not what it should be, with love, kindness, and acceptance. Thank you again for taking time to do this practice with me. I hope you feel the benefit in your body, even in your mind. Namaste.